Hi, welcome to Craft It Sweetly. I'm Diana. Thanks so much for being here. In this video, I wanted to show you how to apply the image for a photo strip pattern to your book pages where the image actually stands out from the rest of the book. So the page pages that you're not don't have or the I should say the sections that don't have the image will be farther back into the book and it'll make a little more sense once I show you. Um, I did already start this just to kind of um, kind of go through some of the the pages but I printed this using the photo book art app and I do have a link below for it it's photobookart.com but um, you upload the image and it'll create the pattern for you with an ink saver option um, if you choose to which will make it you know save you on um, some ink you do have to kind of fold right down the middle which sometimes people have a hard time folding it in half but it really is not that difficult I have folded some here already because I wanted I didn't want to spend the time show you know kind of folding the strips I wanted to show you more the process of applying it to the book I have the strips already folded and nicely creased now I did cut the top part because that'll help me even though I'm not using this white part so this part will disappear from the book but it is on here initially because that'll help me kind of set up exactly where it is so that this part goes in the same place or goes where it should for the pattern and I didn't trim this part off because I'll just trim it once I'm actually applying it to the book all right so um, I will kind of get those pages out of the way and then show you the process you can initially start off like this if you'd like and mark the pages but this viewer came up with an awesome way of using the stand where she flips the stand the other way so I would always use the the wide part but she would flip it the other way and then the book the spine of the book like this would be this way which once it's put under here it forces this to be right here so let me move this back whoops let's see if I can do that all right so I've the book right now if I take this sideways the spine is flipped back or the back cover is flipped backwards and then my front cover is underneath the front of, of the or underneath the bar for the stand that forces this to be at 90 degrees which I thought was the most genius thing ever thank you so much I remember the name now it's Chris that's what it was I'm sorry yes thank you so much Chris for uh, the awesome suggestion in creating you know in, in the use of the book folding stand and making sure that this is at 90 degrees anyway long story short um, once you have the book in this position then I'm using the 180 marker and now you don't have to struggle with making sure that this is at 90 degrees um, the 180 marker get on camera here will go on top of the book and because this is at 90 degrees right there so that's 90 degrees that's gonna go right on top and then we're going to score this okay so once you have this against it no need to struggle anymore now all the previous pages I have done so far I marked against this slat of the 180 fold so everything was marked this way now you have five marking lines one two three four five depends on which way you hold your scoring tool for this one I'm holding it this way and it's always gonna be at the same angle I usually score about five to ten pages at a time so that I don't have to keep picking up the 180 marker and it just makes the process a little faster butt it up against the pages score line and you don't have to fold these back because we're going to apply the photo strips to them okay and then once you have the score line this is my next page it's 47 
and you could either put some double-sided tape directly on the strip since you don't want to do it up here or down here because this is going to disappear you would really need to put it where the pattern starts and ends or the other option is to hold it sort of against the page here to get an idea of where things will need to be glued and that's where the pattern starts so I need a little piece of tape there and then this is where it ends and I'm going to add a little piece of tape there because that's really the only two places that I want this strip to be attached and then once I put it on whoops there we go you want to make sure this is flush here and at this point usually you'll press this down and it sticks on but right now there's no tape there so I want to make sure this is glued down push it against the page and then press down again so now my strip is attached but it's attached right in these two places and then you're going to take your scissors and cut right where the pattern begins and right where it ends so now these two strips fall away and this will become a 180 fold here and a 180 fold here right on that score line that we created at the beginning and you want to make sure that's creased so that's going to go away here put it behind I have a couple of more a uh, couple additional pages that are already scored so I'm going to do those as well 45 let's see I think it's easier to um, put the tape on the page of the book versus on um, the strip because once you take this and put it on the page it makes it easier to slide it back and forth if the tape was directly on the strip then it's going to be a little harder to slide it because it'll stick press and press And I'll do one more page and then show you what so far what it looks like and then I'll proceed with the rest of the book so that uh, you know kind of show you a halfway point of what it looks like it's always fun to see the progress okay so once you do it put it on there and what i'll do is i'm gonna slide the book from underneath the stand and that's what it looks like when it's underneath so that the spine is totally flush but there's the progress so far let me push this down and if you look at it this way you can see that this this part of it is sticking out from the rest of the pages so this becomes the 180 fold on the the background image so i'll continue doing some more pages and then show you what it looks uh, maybe like the halfway point or so okay so i'm a little over the halfway point with the book and i just wanted to show you the progress there it is so um you can see that this kind of is sticking out from the rest of the book and this right here is looks like the midpoint it's the lowest point and you know the highest and lowest point here um and it may look like i didn't quite trim it but that was actually part of the pattern and now it's going to go back to the other direction and create the the beautiful frame with the hummingbirds once i'm done with the rest of the few hundred pages or so uh maybe not quite yeah right about the hundred pages so i've got i've got about another 50 strips to put on and then i'll show you the finished design and i'll also take the opportunity to kind of show you this new guide that i'll 
have available. Um, it's the same as the other, the 180 fold ruler. Same as the other one, but with two additional slots added, which means it's going to give you another um, one, two, three, four more score lines to it. So, uh, just a little side note. So, just a little side note to that, and it will be available um, soon. So, anyway, um, I will show you this once it's finished. Okay, and now I have the completed book. And if you look at it from the side, this is obviously the raised part, and this is what it looks like on the front. So it just adds a really beautiful uh, dimension to it to have it raised. I'll probably do one where the image is, you know, this one's obviously just a solid image, and then it's just the outside part that is, uh, has the 180 fold. I plan on doing one where some of the inside parts will also be have a 180 fold and then this the image you know it's not going to be a solid picture it'll have areas in the middle that's going to be um, folded in so i just have to find the right photo for that but if you have any questions please comment below would love to see your project if you make this um, i'll post this particular pattern in the etsy shop if you're interested in making it but really any solid image would work as long as it's obviously not rectangular which you would be using for the whole book but something that's going to give you you know is more centered for the image for the book again if you have any questions please comment below if you do end up making this particular pattern would love it if you post it in my facebook group and you know i can people can see your work there as well Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next project.